Hello everybody, this is Dimitris Kriagou, and uh, this is a tutorial on H5P. Um, for starters, I would like to mention that there are six video tutorials that demonstrate the basic use of um, how to create interactive videos. Uh, very useful for uh, homework or even assessment in, in, many, in many courses at AUC. Now, the tutorials were created for Moodle. So you can see that um, all of them, if you have watched them, explain how you can use H5P in Moodle. The path. Hello everyone, this is Dimitris. Um, as you are aware, we have uh, progressed to uh, Blackboard, Blackboard Learn. Therefore, this video, the purpose of this video, is to demonstrate how you can add H5P on Blackboard Learn, and then how to use it, uh, the differences between uh, uh, Moodle and Blackboard Learn platforms. The good news is that the tool itself is exactly the same in both platforms. The only difference is how do you find it and add it on one of your courses, and then how do you find the videos that you create to add them as learning resources on the corresponding pages of your courses? This is the video that I'm going to demonstrate that. So we go to my AUC, we click on Blackboard Learn, and we just find one of the courses that we want to use H5P. I'm going to demonstrate it with my search engine optimization course. Now, you're not going to find it here. You need to scroll down on the left hand side um, toolbar, and it's over here books and tools. If you click on that, you cause an institution tools. This one on the right hand side opens up. You need to click there, browse all course tools. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find it on the second row, last option, interactive content H5P. Now, EUC has uh, licenses that they will assign to us instructors. So if you are assigned an account, you will see this page, meaning that you're now logged in and you are ready to use H5P. You can see right now it's empty. So add content at the top and when it's loaded, you're gonna to get to this screen. Now, this screen is identical to the screen shown in Moodle, and it is shown in the first tutorial of my six video tutorials in uh, the two minutes mark. So I start by talking about it, and then I explain how you can add it on Moodle. So if you skip to the two minute mark, you can see that I'm now going to scroll down and demonstrate the editor option on Moodle, which as you can see is identical to what we have on Blackboard Learn. There you are. So interactive video, and this is what we have here, interactive video. This is the option that we need. So from there on, from the second mark, second minute mark onwards, the tutorial is identical to what you can do on Black Owner. Now, the second part is if you click on it and then you click on use, this is explaining the tutorial, as I have said, let me assign a, an H5P demo title and we need to add a video because it's video interaction um, tool, um, add file, you can either upload it or use a YouTube video. I am explaining here the differences and I'm specifying my preference to use a video uploaded on YouTube Studio. So I'm gonna pick this one that I have ready. I'm gonna add it there. And if I click insert, automatically it's inserted. So the next step is to go to interactions and of course, fill them up with all of these options, Anyone's, anyone that you find appropriate for your course. All of these are explained in the other five 
video tutorials that I have here. So they are identical as shown in Moodle and as displayed here on Blackboard Learn. So once you complete the process, you click save and insert. And this will refresh and come back to your course, course page on Blackboard Learn. So in order to find it, uh, you need to go back, view course and institution tools, exactly the same process, browse all course tools and find the interactive content once again. So now you will see that you have one uh, video added in my content. This was empty before, so I click add content to add a new one. So this is what you wanna take, the link to this one. You can click either this uh, lock here, you're gonna get these options, or you're gonna click these three dots and pick the publish option. Move to public and you have two options that I have tested and they are both working fine. You can either pick up the external link or the embed codes. I'll demonstrate both. And I will state my preference as well. So external link, I'm gonna pick this up. It says copy just by clicking on it. So I just update just to go away from this one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave this open and open up a new uh, tab so I can have this one to come back to it and I'll use this one to go back to my course. Now I can use the plus, the button there, which as you know, we can add that in uh, any one of our weeks. You have this plus button anywhere. So I'm just gonna demonstrate here at the top. And for the first one, you, you click create. For the first one, you need to use a link results. So we click on that and then you paste the URL you just have just copied from H5P demo. All right, I got it from here. So publish and this is the external link. So just give it a name there. Week one exercises and click save. Now students, once they click it, once you publish it for students, uh, they're gonna click on it and a new tab will open up and the whole page will be about your H5P interactive video. They can start, start it and you, you will see the annotations exactly where you want them to stop and answer any questions you set up. Once again, these are explained here from tutorial two to tutorial five. And then the last one is the summary task statements. This is the first option. And personally, it is my favorite. You can also use this one to go full screen. And they have the course content open up in, a, in the previous tab and then can work on the interactive video on this uh, tab. The second option is if you go again to publish it, you go to embed codes and you click on this link, copy it. So when I, if I go back, I have to add a, a create a document resource. This is the one. On this page, you add a title. So once again, week one exercises and at HTML, because what we are copying here, it's HTML code. At HTML and just paste what you just copied. Don't change anything, click save, and this will be shown in the form of a document. So if we go back to the page, this is how the link looks like, opens up in a new page picks up the whole screen. This is how the document resource looks like. Opens up a new window. And yeah, sometimes you get these resizing problems. And that is the reason why I'm suggesting to go for the link 
option instead of the document option. So these are the differences. From there on, how to use it, um, how to add any interactive, any set of interactive elements. They are all in these uh, six uh, video tutorials. I'm demonstrating them in Moodle, but they're exactly the same in platform level. Thank you very much.